the two instructions that Ajahn Fuin gave most often, be observant and use your ingenuity. He wasn't only talking about formal meditation. He was talking about life around the monastery, or if you're living at home, life around the home. There are always duties to be done, chores to be done, and it always seems like there's never enough people. So be observant, look around, see what things need to be done that are not getting done. Or if there's a burden on one monk or a burden on one of the lay people that's a little bit heavy, what you can do to relieve that burden without having to be told. It creates a better atmosphere around the monastery when you go out of your way for one another. And it's a good habit to develop, because when you meditate, you're going to go have, have to go out of your way, too. It's going that extra mile, going the extra amount of time, looking in areas that you thought, well, that, that's taken care of. Well, maybe it's not taken care of. Go back and look at it again. That talent in the meditation gets developed if you're willing to look around you and see what needs to be done outside. We live in a community, and it's, it goes best when the elder monks are looking out after the younger monks, and the younger monks are looking after the older monks. The lay people are looking after the monks, the monks are looking after the lay people. In other words, it's not just every person for him or herself. So look around. What ways can you be helpful? And you have to be told. The question always is, well, where are your eyes? Look. Observe. Just as in the meditation, you can't expect to have everything handed to you. Think of the forest at John's out in the forest. They came up with problems in their meditation, and they couldn't go running to the teacher all the time. This is one of the reasons why John Munn was a little cagey in the way his Dharma talks, wouldn't explain everything, he left it up to you to work out the details. So when a problem came up, you had developed that habit. of being observant and using your ingenuity and being helpful with other people, then it becomes easier to use those qualities as you meditate. So look around where are areas where you can go out of your way. Develop something that they call in Thai, Nam Chai, it literally means heart juice. It's basically a volunteer spirit, the willingness to do something without having to be asked, without having to be told. And the more heart juice that goes around the community, the more refreshing it is to be here. <laughs>